Hello guys, this is Brian here with a product review of different flavors of Kim's Deli Pop. Now a couple of videos ago you saw me to do a couple of reviews on their uh, Magic Pop. Magic Pop is bigger, like a size of a saucer. And uh, those are pretty good actually, they are. And they were nice enough to send me a pack of Deli Pops. Now the Deli Pops are smaller and I'll show you the size of them. And these are more like a rice cake consistency, but better for you. And I and I did. I tell you which flavors I do like and which ones I don't like. Cause there's two flavors that I did not care for at all. Uh, I did tell them I do give uh, I do give honest reviews, and I don't get paid to do this. And I you know I, I tell them you know if your product's awful, I'm gonna tell you, you, you know, because I'm, I'm honest. I don't sugarcoat anything. Now they do have some interesting flavors. Now I wish they would send me the blueberry flavor because I'm kind of interested in that because someone told me that they tasted it and it was kind of salty. Uh, now you did see me in one of the videos review this one. It comes in Deli Pop, uh, Deli Pop regular flavor, and this is what they look like because they did send me one. Of the, they sent me another one in one of my original boxes. I think the stats on these are pretty much the same. Um, this one is 15 calorie, uh, uh, 10 calories, zero trans, zero sat, zero fat, cholesterol zero, just two carbs, and zero sugars and zero protein. That's for the plain zero, uh, plain ones. Now I do want to let y'all know that um, I showed you the little card that sent me. You can make put these in ice cream. Uh, uses as dip, all kinds of things. Now I did put some Cool Whip on these and they were pretty good. And just the plain version with Cool Whip, oh man that's good. And then I took some of these, because like I said they sent me two of these, one in the original box and this in this, in this box. I did get some lunch meat and a little bit of mayo and mustard and I put on top of one of these. Oh man it's good too. Um, now this one um, I show you, uh, this one is called the sweet potato flavor. And this is what they look like. I'll take it out of the package in a second. Sweet potato is an odd flavor. Uh, this one is 20 calories. Oh, this, is this 21? No, these are 10. Okay, this is just to put down the flavor. This is 20 calories, uh, zero trans, zero uh, saturated, zero cholesterol, four carbs zero sugars and one protein. I guess I just rounded up to one. Now these smell any rest these kind of smell pretty good. Now I don't know if my camera will pick this up but the the uh, puff or pop which you may call it they, it's kind of purplish if you could tell. So these are kind of like rice cake consistency but better for you. Now this flavor I would give 5 out of 10 it's not my favorite flavor, and I will not order this one again. Uh, so, I didn't care for this flavor. Now, this other flavor, I thought I would actually would like. And I did try it with some, some Cool Whip, and it didn't turn out to be good. This flavor is pumpkin. And this is what it looks like. So, this one's kind of more like a goldish, brownish color. Now, in this particular flavor, it's uh, like it's uh, seasoned on, like uh, it's, uh, like seasoning on, you know. Um, and this one is 20 calories as well, uh, four carbs, and one protein. I thought I was gonna like this, and it turned out to be I did not like this. I actually thought it was disgusting. Uh, I tried it plain, didn't like it. I put some cool up on it. I didn't like it at all. And matter of fact, it won't taste like pumpkin at all. So I give this a zero out of ten. Bad. Uh, Magic Pop. If you're listening to me, don't make this again. It don't taste very good. Uh, I had a um, my grandma tried it. She didn't like it either. So as you can tell, we didn't eat none of those except one or two. It's like uh, the flavoring is like it's been uh, sprinkled on, I guess. Now this one I did like, and I would order this particular one again. This particular one is called Seven Grain Flavor. And this one, 
kind of looks like popcorn been mashed up together. And these don't taste like boring rice cakes at all. Uh, this one is 20 calories, zero fat, zero trans, zero saturated, zero cholesterol, four carbs, zero sugars, and zero protein. So these actually kind of almost taste like popcorn without the butter and salt. Plain popcorn. So it's pretty good. I did like it with Cool Whip. Um, I did like it with my lunch meat and mayo and mustard. You can tell I ate some of these. Um, so I would order this flavor again. This one. Definitely this one. So I do like this one. Uh, the next one we've been eating on is um, Seminin. These smell very good. And I love this with Cool Whip. And now they also make a Seminin uh, uh, Magic Pop, which is bigger. And that kind of tasted like a cinnamon twist. I just so I thought until I tried this. This actually does taste like a cinnamon twist from Taco Bell. You ever remember remember those? I think they still have those around actually. But these were pretty good. The, the cinnamon is not overpowering at all. And uh, this is what they look like. They smell really good. I mean, these were absolutely delicious with Cool Whip all by themselves. So the one side's more texture, and it's flat on the bottom. Mmm, smells good. Uh, the stats on here is 20 grams, uh, zero fat, zero saturated, zero trans, uh, cholesterol zero, four carbs, zero sugars, and uh, just I guess just one protein that is kind of rounded up, I guess. And I think each one of these are 15 in each little pack. Uh, this one is whole wheat. This is what they look like. I don't. I can't remember if their website can kind of tout them to be all natural, but I tell you what, all the ingredients in these you can actually pronounce, and they're almost the same except the flavorings. Uh, the multi-grain. I mean, the whole wheat ones look like this. Uh, on here is 15 calories, so you get a little calorie count on this. 15 calories, zero fat, zero saturated, zero trans, cholesterol zero, just four carbs, zero sugars, and zero protein. And these were good in cool up too, and good with lunch mate. Um, to be honest with you, uh, I really can't tell the difference between... Um, the regular version, uh, this one's made from uh, wheat, brown rice, and barley, the regular version. And this one is made from whole wheat, brown rice, and barley. Uh, so these are 15 calories, and these are 10 calories. And like I said, guys, I can't really tell the di any taste difference in all at all. So, you know, if you were watching calories, you go with this for 10 calories versus 15. Uh, so those are the, uh, these are the three flavors that I do. Uh, was it three? No, four flavors. Yes, it's similar. These are all the four flavors I actually would like, I do like. I am going to order more. Um, like I said, these are called Deli, Pop, uh, Deli Pops. Oh, let me show you the uh, ingredients uh, if you all are interested in that. Um, This ingredient list of one of them. Uh, these are the whole wheat ones. And let me see if my camera will zoom in. Uh, maybe not. But you can go to the website. I, I'll give you the link. We can order these. Now you can order sample cases. Now, unfortunately, they're kind of a little bit expen on the expensive side because the reason why they they do give you six to twelve bags of the stuff. So it's not like you can only get one pack. They actually will send you six to twelve depending on on um, and you get uh, and I think there is an option that you can pick and choose. And I'll give you the link below. And and I'll just give a special thank you for them. They were the nicest people to deal with. Uh, 
I think her name is June, and they're very nice people. Um, I mean, I will actually, uh, oh, I, okay, it is talented all natural. Okay, I see it on the packaging. But, like I said, guys, these are good, and cool, you know, the uh, flavors are good and cool whip. Even the popcorn one was good. And, uh, the uh, This guy, Seven Grains, actually was good on cool whip, but it was really better on uh, some lunch meat, a little spread of um, mayonnaise or, or, or mustard. Oh, man, you, as a snack. Um, also, now, as a gastric bypass patient, I try. I do my damage to stay away from bread because bread just gums it up on me. And I bet, what well, I'm going to start trying to do, if there's going to be bread, uh, and I have a craving for bread, I bet I'm just going to eat one of these instead. I think that's a good idea. Let me know if you think that's a good idea. Um, you know, even once in a while, us weight loss people, or even anybody on the diet, we have to do like a reset button every once in a while because, we, you know, we just get out of habits, unfortunately. I have. <laughs> I could tell you that. Um, but pretty much, I, I would absolutely order these again. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please post them below. Um, I keep I keep smelling the cinnamon flavor <laughs> around over here. I mean, it's absolutely delicious. Actually, it smells really good. Oh, let me show you the postcard they sent me. It, it, it gives you the ideas. Uh, you can do you can use these in guacamole, salsa, honey, uh, hazelnut chocolate, peanut butter, strawberry jelly. This is what it looks like here. I mean, if you want to read that and pause it for a second, that's fine by me. And there's a picture. I don't know if it's showing up right. Uh, oh, here it is. There is a picture right here. Where my, right here. Oops, there we go. That's a picture of ice cream. So you could do ice cream sandwiches. And the next one. It's peanut butter and, and sandwiches. Now, I do want to try this one. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know about this. You can make like a little pizza puffs. Um, yeah, uh, it's chocolate uh, sandwich and it's ice cream sandwich and deli pop pizza. I'm really interested in that. I'm try I'm gonna actually try to make it this week. As I mean, that'd be a perfect for actually for a, you know just a just a snack. Um, uh, you know, you're mostly gonna get your calories from uh, from the cheese, but I will post. I will keep posting on that. Please, guys, if you have any questions, comments, or products that you want me to review. Please post them below. And, and like I said, guys, I do give honest reviews. And like this pumpkin flavor, it's got awful. Zero out of ten. Uh, I, I don't know if I've rated these, but the cinnamon one is, I would say, nine out of ten. Uh, the seven grain is ten out of ten. And the whole wheat is ten out of ten. And the regular is ten out of ten. So. Those four flavors I absolutely will buy. I'm going to buy some actually when these run out. Sorry this has been a long rambling video, but I hope I'll talk to you later.